All right, guys, back with the third one on the muscle stuff. Understanding the rate of muscle loss with inactivity, sitting on your ass, doing jack all. The rate at which we lose skeletal muscle due to our inactivity, doing nothing, is a critical aspect for us, particularly when it comes to our physical health. There is also some triggers to do with emotional, and maybe there's mental health benefits there too. Although people are talking about it, I know for myself, if I miss a day of working out, I feel like shit, right? It's not my therapy, it's not my drug, it just makes me feel better. It could be a simple set of push-ups. In my case, I like to do a bit of a gym session at home. Now, let's have a closer look at this phenomenon. Three things, muscle atrophy breaking down, strength decline, weak as piss, reversibility, we'll talk about that one soon. Let's talk about muscle atrophy. Inactivity, doing nothing, leads to muscle disuse, therefore resulting in a decline of our muscle mass. So we talked in the last couple of videos about once you've maintained it, it's only 7% of effort to, to, to keep it going. That's full, I understand that. But if we're doing nothing, we're gonna to have to work a bit harder to get to where we are. Right, without regular exercise, our muscles undergo a process called atrophy. This is where they basically break down, they shrink in size and losing contractile ability. Shrink in size, that's, the, that's an inside joke for the guys who get a bit older. Shrinks in size. Sedentary behavior accelerates muscle loss, right? Therefore, the least more activity that we do, it'll just simply escalate, escalate, escalate. Especially for us as we get older, contributing to a frailty, that's a nice term, and a decreased mobility. In other words, slip, trip, break a hip, Simple, straightforward. Prolonged bed rest or immobility can also lead to rapid muscle wasters. Anyone's ever had a cast on? And by the time you take it out, the typical 10 tweaks, eight weeks, six weeks, whatever it is for the particular thing that you're doing, you'll find that what was there was not there anymore. It's gone, it's wasted away. Therefore, that highlights the importance of this, all right? Physical activities for maintenance, it's a good thing. Strength decline. We all know it's pretty obvious. Inactivity results in decreased muscle strength and function over time. If you don't use it, you lose it. Um, if you're a teenager, early 20 something, go and ask the old man how many push ups he used to be able to do. Don't worry, he'll tell you. Ask him to do them now. If he can't do what he used to be able to do, he's fucked himself up. That's one thing I pride myself on. Yeah, I'm going to talk myself up, but. If I can still bang out enough push-ups and my 18-year-old is gonna to struggle to keep up with me, I'm in a good position. Pull-ups, he can probably get me there. He's a little bit lighter, I'm a heavy bastard, but I can still bring out four or five or six of these. And I might even be able to crank out nine, 10, 11, or 12. It might just take me a lot longer. They will be singles, not straight out. Muscles weaken with disuse, leading to functional impairments and reduce performance in your daily activities. I pride myself on being able to come out from the groceries and having six to eight to 10 to 12 bags and I can walk up the fucking driveway with them in both hands. End of story. Loss of muscle strength increases the risk of falls, fractures, particularly amongst the older ones. And we've said this, we've said this before, slip, trip, break a hip. How many times have someone done that? How many times have you ever heard of a person sneeze and pop a rib? It's fucking painful, but it happens. And all of that is because we don't have a structure around to support it. It's like literally the term bag of bones. It takes two to three weeks of inactivity for noticeable decline in muscle strength to occur and therefore emphasizing the importance that regular activity should be about preserving it. Ask anyone who has been hospitalized for a while. We've just had that lockdown bullshit the last couple of years ask anyone who got stuck in their house and did fuck all what it's like ask anyone who's been into the hospital who's recovering from surgery what it is like it is not fun to come back out and it's like i don't know the dude coming down from the space shuttle and why they can't walk on planet earth it's just gravity because they haven't had the stress and the adaptation and they have pretty much been sedentary because they haven't been moving against gravity now, reversibility. Can we do it, Bob the Builder? Muscle loss due to inactivity can be reversed 
with an appropriate exercise intervention. You gotta do something about it. Resistance training, progressive overload, stimulate muscle growth, counteract the effects of the disuse, and all of that will promote strength gains, as I say in all the stuff I do. You wanna lose some weight? Start by getting strong first. Get strong, builds muscle, builds muscle, helps glycogen storage, yada, yada, yada. The last couple of posts, go back and listen. Even in older adults, I'm an older adult, regular physical activity can restore muscle mass, therefore the function will come back, highlighting the potential for rehab and functional improvements. I am fucking dumbfounded why there is not proper strength-related activities, routines in every nursing home in this country. It fucking confounds the shit out of me. Particularly, particularly when most of the people that are in them, they're in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, they are kids from the 40s and 50s and 60s, who back then were probably the fittest, healthiest, most active group of individuals, unlike today. Consistent engagement in resistance exercises perverts further muscle loss, fosters the regeneration, I'll be back, and therefore long-term physical health. So, where do we go? Understand that the rate of muscle loss with inactivity, doing nothing, will underscore the importance of how regular activity, regular exercise, is more important for not only maintaining what the hell you've got, for building strength, and therefore allowing you to function in your life. These posts are long. They're long because this shit is not done in 15 seconds. Fucking understand that. This is not a TikTok. This is not a picture of me bending over so you can see my G-banger in the reflection in the mirror at the back there or some fucking stupid dance. This is life. Fucking understand it. Grow up. If you're an older person seeing this and maybe you've hit a nerve, good. If you're a younger person, you think, who the fuck's this dick? Wait till you get older. As they say, when I grow up.